Fires in student housing causes an average of one death, 32 injuries each year. That's all according to the National Fire Protection Association. And this is Campus Fire Safety Month in Illinois. The state fire marshal is pushing local colleges and universities to be prepared just in case. We've got a live look for you this morning over Quincy University's campus, where this morning students will be waking up shortly to head to class this morning. So at the start of the semester, just a couple of weeks ago, students went through training with the Quincy Fire Department. They went over a preparedness plan and how to use a fire extinguisher. The state fire marshal says September and October are the most common months for student housing fires. Quincy firefighters say it's not uncommon for them to respond to small fires, mostly blamed on cooking. So they're cooking stuff in their microwave and you know that's burning or maybe they're not paying attention to it. And um, that's probably the number that is the number one cause. And then we also want to look at things like um, plugging our computers in, making sure we're not using extension cords and uh, using surge protectors. Another big factor, he says, is smoking. He says kids think that they can just open the windows or take other measures to get rid of it in the air, but that doesn't happen and it does trigger those alarms. And he says that students do need to take the alarm seriously and treat everyone like it is an emergency. And here's some more information for students that live off campus. Fire officials say have a fire escape plan with two ways out of every room. Check with your local fire department, building management or campus office before using a barbecue grill or fire pit and check to make sure all sleeping rooms and common areas have functioning smoke alarms.